Welcome to Mr. Danny Lim.blogspot.sg. Today we will be talking about um, a science topic, energy in food. Um, please read your guidebook. Um, this is just a very brief summary on the topic um, to help you capture the important points and to also capture the important keywords. Um, so now, why do we need to study energy in food? And where do we get um, this energy from? Now, food, okay, um, it is necessary for us to survive. Um, without food, we will all die because all living things need air, food, water. So food is one of them, okay. Food provides us with energy for our daily activities, for our movement, um, and also for our reproduction, for our growth, um, and also um, to help us react to uh, the changes in our surroundings. So food. Um, is very important uh, without it we will not have energy we cannot move and without without this energy uh, most probably uh, we will die okay it's for our activities now food energy what is food energy in your textbook there should be a page to talk about food energy now food energy is actually um, just basically it comes from food okay it comes from food um, it has to be digested before it can be used okay for animals um, for animals like us we need to eat the food and then go through our digestive system before it can be used okay after it's being digested it will become uh, glucose glucose uh, will go to our cells and uh, respiration will take will, will take place and then uh, we will get the energy uh, from the food okay now all food okay all types of food okay directly or indirectly it will come from the sun okay why is this so now the sun will provide light energy will provide warm to the to the plants okay the plants will make food the plants are the only um, living things on earth that can make food okay when they make food um, they will store their food and then animals uh, plant eaters will uh, eat the food then those meat eaters will eat the plant eaters okay so the when the meat eaters eat the plants okay it actually also the energy also comes from uh, the sun because the plants get the energy from the sun okay and uh, plant and meat eaters like us humans okay we also eat uh, plants we also eat animals okay both of them either they get their uh, food directly from the sun sunlight or they get their food indirectly from the sun so must remember this they will they like to test this in, in exams okay they will have some statements and then they will ask you true or false okay um, so all uh, types of food okay directly or indirectly comes from the sun now the sun provides uh, light uh, for the plants uh, which is very important uh, when they provide light uh, for the plants it allows uh, them allows the green leaves okay green leaves or the green parts now when you see the green parts on on the plant right most pro probably it contains chlorophyll okay chlorophyll is very important for photosynthesis okay so when there is chlorophyll okay and when there is uh, light sunlight from the sun okay chlorophyll plus sunlight will give you photosynthesis process and it will uh, produce glucose now this glucose uh, um, will be made by the plants and then you'll be stored somewhere okay uh, the plants will use some of them some of the glucose for respiration okay they also need they, will, they also need food but usually the plants will make a lot of glucose so all these glucose will be stored somewhere okay there are a few parts of the plants that they can store okay one of the basic parts is the root okay just like your carrot that's why it's a big fat uh, orange carrots because all the glucose will go there and, and store there so we eat carrots okay tapioca and sweet potato okay it can also be stored in the stem okay some underground stems like ginger potato okay potato is underground stem and it can also be stored in the flower okay interesting right uh, it's actually very common something that we eat almost most of the time okay one of the vegetable that we thought is a vegetable but it's not it's a flower okay like broccoli and cauliflower okay and it can also be stored as fruit. Now, this is very common to us. You have your mango, apple, 
and and so on and so forth. Okay. Now the glucose uh, will travel to the um, will travel to the cells. Okay, and it will enable the cells to have cellular respiration. Now this respiration, right? It means that the glucose uh, combining with um, okay combining with oxygen okay it will provide energy okay for the for the cells okay so when the food goes to the digestive system okay the food will be digested the glucose or the digested food okay will be um, transported to every part of our body to every cell in our body okay and this glucose with the help of oxygen will combine together and through the process of respiration will give us energy okay and you also give out give out carbon dioxide and water okay so the glucose is a good thing the glucose plus oxygen through respiration we, then it will provide us with energy the waste products will be carbon dioxide and water okay now very important okay respiration is different from breathing okay breathing is through our nose okay it's, a, it's an exchange of gases okay it's a gaseous exchange but respiration is different respiration is uh, the the product the production of energy okay by combining glucose and uh, oxygen okay when combine glucose and oxygen it will give you energy this energy will enable us to move okay without glucose no energy you can still breathe but you cannot have energy you can still have breathing but you cannot have respiration okay so it's very important okay that we must eat and digest the food so that we can have glucose and then it will provide us with energy okay now um, for the plants okay just like I told I highlighted to you just now okay plants will be eaten by plant eaters okay then plant eaters will in turn be eaten by animal eaters or it will be in turn be eaten by plant and animal eaters <coughs> excuse me okay so um, even the group of um, animal eaters and the um, plant and animal eaters they all get their food uh, indirectly from the sun because at first it must be the sun provides the light for the plants to make food first before um, the plants um, can store the food before the food gets eaten up so must remember this is the key thing you must remember this okay all pl all types of food comes directly or indirectly from the sun okay that's all for today's topic um, it's a very short topic the next topic will be uh, forms of energy which is a little bit uh, more um, enriching than this okay thank you i hope you had a great time um, you can draw the mind map yourself um, so that you can refresh your memory by drawing mind maps you can link all the important keywords together you can also link all the important concepts together so i encourage you to draw a mind map on your own okay cannot remember how to draw can refer to this okay can refer to mine okay it's uh, actually quite easy can okay? thank you very much i'll see you in the next chapter